Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day and are enjoying the weekend. It is the end of another month. We are halfway to Christmas, people. Does anyone realize that? So, end of the month means favorite. Some of them are new too, so I uh, wanted to add that as well. So, sit down or squat down and lie down y'all, because here we this go. This is not a new favorite. This has been a favorite for quite a bit, but I've noticed that I haven't said anything about it. But it is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. Mine is in Cocoa Butter. This is actually the second or third one I've had. These are fantastic. They're so much better than chapstick. They're compact, as you can see. But I'm stuck on the cocoa butter. And for less than $2, I'm loving this. Been loving that. Nothing new there. I'm into KB6 um, Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. I really do believe that this is making a difference. I'm not happy with how much I paid for it. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I will buy another one. But I have noticed that it does take the redness away and my pores are not so ba boom. You know what I mean? So I'm liking this. I have a fingernail polish that I picked up at Walgreens for like four bucks. And it's an Essie actually, an Essie brand. And I'm sure it's a color that they're uh, put on the back burner for now. But it is uh parka perfect muted mint blue and i i'm digging it. it is very like i would say it's almost like a very preppy I color the z palette and i want to talk about my z palette as well love the z palette the concept is phenomenal you can get these shadows you can put it in there you can just launch your own palette it is fantastic all of these shadows come from coastal scents and i am loving the price the quality and just overall the selection of colors too if you're not liking really a palette and you want to just pick out some colors that you like for you this is a great way to do so so i really recommend these i love these the z palette is fantastic so i'm loving this one love 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 that my large shader e60 brush this one is the um e40 really phenomenal brushes i these are right there up there with my f80 flat top synthetic kabuki brush that i use for my foundation these those would be like my top three sigma brushes i love them they are fantastic they're great quality sigma really is a fantastic brush maker so i love these this, um i picked up it was on sale i've heard a lot of buzz about it it's the l'oreal boost it high lift uh creation spray my hair has kind of got that it's got volume but it's kind of flat but watch i've had this spray in my hair for like three hours okay so you just shake it up you shake it up a little bit bam volume you know what i'm saying so this might be something that i have to keep in my hair collection it's like 350 plus i had a dollar off coupon and l'oreal usually has coupons in there in the sunday paper so like 250 for this so Good value, good value, great buy. I'm happy with this. This I found at Dollar General. And it is vitamin E cream enriched with argon oil. And it is from a company called Laboratories de Lawn. It really does have a great smell to it. It's not overly thick. I'm one of those that my lotion can't just feel like I'm, my, it's smothering my skin, you know. Some lotions just feel like it's sitting on top of my skin and I can't get them worked in. But this one really does work in well. It's only $2 and look how massive this tub is. It is freaking huge. It's 16 ounces of goodies. $2. $2 at the dollar store. So if you are looking for something with argan oil and vitamin E with a great smell. I wasn't really happy when I bought it. But I've been using it for the past couple weeks, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know why I didn't like it. It was like I, you know, when I first bought it. But I'm pretty happy with my LA Pro X now. I really do feel like it deep cleans more so than I thought it did. I actually got mine on Amazon for like less than $20, and I've seen them at Walgreens for... 25 I think and actually what I think it was that I didn't that made me not like it was that it had that little um, exfoliating thing uh, cleanser that come with the Pro X and I don't think I really liked it which made me not like the Pro X but I've been using this with the purity uh, cleanser from philosophy and I really like the combo on that so I'm really liking this little guy again. So, happy about that. He's not just sitting around anymore. Well, my favorites helped you guys to kind of figure out what you wanted to check into. These are really great buys. Like, I love the Urban Decay uh, B6 spray, but 
it was really expensive and I don't think I can justify to myself again to buy it. But everything else was, you know, fairly inexpensive. I feel like the Sigma brushes are worth every penny that I give for them. All enjoy this video. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm-hmm.